This will be a short video on how to configure RSVP using IX Network and the classical framework. I have two ports connected back to back and no configuration. I'll start by clicking on protocols and going to the protocol wizard, selecting RSVP and then running the protocol wizard. Since this is back to back, I'm going to tunnel between the ICSIA ports. I'll select transit and select my left and right port. Uh, this is my head, this is my tail. I click next. Uh, this is where you would configure your LSR or P router count as shown here in the diagram. We're going to configure the IPs. 20.1 will go connect to 20.2 and on the other side. Twenty dot two will connect to twenty dot one. Click next. This is the count or configuration for the LER or PE router. We'll just use one. Uh, these are the IPs we're using for the head and tail for your tunnel endpoints. We're not going to change that. Uh, this is your tunnel count. We're not going to change this now and also the number of LSP IDs to use per tunnel. Again, we're not going to change these at this point, but we'll change them later. Click Next and we're going to move on through the wizard. We're not going to change anything else at this point. And we'll save it and hit Finish. And we're going to close the wizard. And we'll note under protocol interfaces that the interfaces, uh, protocol interfaces have arced for each other. We're going to go to Otis PF. And under the interfaces tab, since this is back to back, we need to make sure that they're point to point for this to come up. Okay. And we'll go to RSVP. A uh, couple of notes. Um, under the ports tab, again, this is your P or LSR configuration or count, the number of uh, LSRs that you're going to have configured. And this is the configuration for those on each side. And we'll go to tunnel tail ranges. Okay. Uh, on this one, your tunnel ID count, this is um, just like it sounds. I'm going to have a thousand tunnel IDs. Okay. And also, if you go to the tunnel head range, uh, you'll see here it gives you the opportunity to set the number of LSP IDs um, you're going to have per tunnel. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and start OSPF. <clears throat> okay. OSPF is up and full. Start RSVP. And we'll go here. If you don't see your stats, you can just go to Select Views and add the RSVP, OSPF, or other stat as needed. Okay? So we see that we have uh, 1,000 ingress LSPs up and 1,000 uh, egress LSPs up for each side. Okay? If I now go to Traffic, add the traffic item and if I expand this I can create traffic from the head range to expand the other one the tail range all right and I'm gonna go straight to preview so that we can look at what we're creating view flow group okay so we have a thousand we're starting at label value 1000 and going increment a thousand going to one thousand nine hundred ninety nine And that's it. Thanks for watching.